Gianna Grace. Oh, oh, oh. No pictures. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Nykeria, and I am back with another video for you guys. So, um, in today's video, I am discussing um, the life of a single mom, how I have been managing it so far, um, and not only managing being a single mom, but a single mom with not one, but two jobs. And you can count being a mother a job as well because it is definitely a job with no days off you constantly going so how am i making it through life by doing all of this um a lot of people ask me how do i do it how am i still sane barely <laughs> but i'm here to do a video on how life has been as a single mom. So, for starters, I want you guys to go ahead and um, hit the subscribe button so that you guys can be a part of my YouTube family. And also hit the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I make a video. And don't forget to like this video for me, okay? Go ahead and support your girl. Just getting started. Try to bring you guys some really good content. But just work with me because I'm just now starting. So I know it may look a little, ooh, but yeah, I'm getting better with time. And I don't know which way my phone, like I'm a phone like this. So I may be looking all over the place, but just know, just we here, okay? Just don't focus on my eyes, focus on my words. That's what I have to say. That makes sense. Yeah. But anyways, um, so I became a mom um, December 21st, 2019 to my beautiful baby girl, Gianna. And um, it was the best day of my life. I never experienced something so beautiful, but painful. It was just an overall like great experience. Um, but of course, everything hit, you know, after I left the hospital because at the hospital, you know, I had a little help with the nurses and things like that. So when I was released from the hospital to come home, of course, you know, um, now I'm on my own. Um, I thank God that my mom stayed with me and my sister stayed with me a few days because I was not myself i was very sick when i left the hospital um i had fever i had chills um i could barely see after my daughter i was trying to breastfeed but it was hurt so bad um i just wasn't comfortable i wasn't comfortable with my skin i was all over the place so it took my mom and my sister to stay with me a few days to like keep me level-headed and just help me throughout the process um of course they had to eventually go home so my healing journey began because i did have to end up getting stitches and things like that so um i've always been around kids like all of my life but i was able to send them back home with their mom in this case i put them back like she was here she was here and she was here to stay so i had to get it together quick okay um it was scary oh my god it was so scary just being here by myself with her um every time she cried i thought something was wrong i was barely getting any sleep i was walking around here looking like a zombie because they always say like when the baby sleep you sleep but it was hard for me to sleep because i wanted to make sure that my daughter was okay so i was always like looking at her checking on her doing something in the house just always busy and that came down on me hard like my vision began to get blurry um i was my blood pressure was all over the place it was just a lot you know and then around the time that i had my daughter 
a few uh, months after that, that's when the pandemic hit. So a lot of people, you know, after they have their child and things like that, they're able to have help. They're able to, you know, family and friends come over and things like that. Well, when the pandemic, pandemic hit, of course, everyone was terrified. We was all freaked out, scared. We never heard anything like this before. So my doors were closed. Like I wasn't allowing anyone to come in. I didn't want any visitors. I didn't want my daughter in daycare. So it was just me and her. Now it was me and her. I was able to bond with her, but we all know as mothers, we know at some point you need a break. And I didn't have that. It was sun up to sun down. I was just, it was just me and her. So that played a lot on my mental. Um, it challenged me a lot. Some days I just felt as if I couldn't do it. I had my moments when I had to go to the closet. I just had to scream. I had to cry. I had to pray. I just had to let it all out and just let God know that I was scared, that I was tired. Um, something has to give. Uh, I don't know what this virus is going around, but God, I need help. Um, and then, of course, with the pandemic and stuff like that, financial issues hit home hard. My daughter was well taken care of. Me, on the other hand, I was not taking care of myself. And I was already failing financially. So now I'm failing mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I was just crashing. I wasn't eating. I had lost a good 50 pounds. Like, I was small. And as you can see, with this head, this face, I can't afford to be too skinny, okay? So, I was right here looking very sick. Like, everybody was wondering what I eating. They was telling me to eat, take care of yourself. And I just couldn't. I didn't have an appetite. I just didn't want to do anything. Um, and that's when I realized that I was going through postpartum depression. And um, it came with a lot. I felt like a failure, you know, because I was living paycheck to paycheck. And sometimes, you know, account was like in the overdraft. So I felt as if I was a failure that I brought a child into this world and not only can I take care of her, I can't even take care of myself. So all of that was weighing down on me and I just felt like I was in this dark hole that I just could not manage to get out of and that was very, very scary for me. Um, I went through it all. I felt broken. I was depressed, suicidal thoughts, all of those things weighed down on me. And I really didn't speak out on it, but my family and friends could tell that something was wrong, something was going on, and I was like silently crying out for help. Um, before Gianna, I was always, I wasn't right. I was mean, I was selfish. I felt like the world revolved around me. Um, it killed me to ask anybody for anything because I felt like I didn't need anybody. I can get it on my own. But when I tell you, God put me in a place that humbled me so fast. I'm so humble now. Humbled me so fast. The same woman that felt like I didn't need anyone. Yeah, I was pushed into a corner, my back against the wall that, you no, know, you need someone. So I had, it, it took everything out of me to just call out for help. And it was a lot on me. I even felt like a failure by asking people for help. So all of that came about and I was already a teacher. So that was my full-time job, I'm a pre-K teacher. And by me failing financially, um, then I came about with my second job, which was with Target. Now, I was slowly getting up on my feet, you know, with the part-time job. But at the same time, I still was mentally crashing because I was tired. Um, I'm making the money to support my daughter and I. But at the same time, 
I don't have time to be with her. She was always with her godmother, and I thank God for her because she pushed me to get the job, and she told me that she'll be there to help me because I needed a babysitter. But I was never, I felt as if I never had time to be with my daughter, and she was too small for that. Um, it was sometimes I was like getting off work from being a teacher at 3.30, just to make it home, to freshen up, put Target clothes on, get my baby bag together, go get her from daycare, take her to a godmother house, be at Target by six. I started working at Target during um, the seasonal time with the Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that. So it was longer hours. So I wasn't getting off until like 12.30, wasn't making it home to after one and having to get right back up at five to start my day all over again. And that was a lot on me, like I was, I don't want to come on, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm sitting on two degrees, and this is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is what I have to go through. Like, no, like, this is not right, you know. But I can say being a mom, being a single mom, um, it has changed my character so much. Like I said before, I'm so humble. Instead of being selfish and selfless, uh, prayer warrior, I will pray like that in the middle of the day, at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day. I don't care. I'm saying a prayer. Um, I'm always at God's feet. I'm always thanking him and giving him the glory and the praise. And just, it has changed me for better. You know, it helped me. I'm able to grow, I'm wiser, I'm so much stronger, I'm like, I'm level-headed, I see things differently. Um, and throughout this year, man, a change. This time last year, I was so hurt and depressed and just, damn, and just full of hatred and hurt. And this year, this time, as you can see, like, um, so much better. Um, in a better headspace, um, me and my daughter are doing perfectly fine. Um, we're financially stable at the moment, and we will continue to be financially stable. I'm still at Target right now. I just accepted a new position in the school system to become, I'm still a teacher, just in another grade level. Um, I'm just starting new adventures, like this is one. My YouTube channel. This is one of my adventures, and I'm starting several other, you know, to just keep me in a positive headspace to just be on a positive journey. So when people asking me about being a single mom and battling social life, because I just started back going back out uh, with friends and family, just your personal life, being a mom, battling. I mean well just battling everything that I've been through and while holding two jobs I can say it was hard it was very stressful it was very challenging but it can be done because us mothers we're going to do what we have to do at the end of the day we're going to do what we have to do for our little ones and we want to do what it takes to make sure that they are okay you know so um i just had to put my big girl pants on and do what i had to do you know and i'm so i'm so proud of myself and i'm so grateful and i'm so thankful that i didn't give up i didn't quit i needed that storm and i'm so thankful that god stayed on my side he didn't leave instead he got in it with me and we just i just pushed my way through because why stop in a storm you don't stop in the storm, like here, earthly, like here. So I stopped in the storm. I had to keep going, but I came out with so much more. I came out with so much more than when I went in the storm. I came out with so much more. So, yeah, that is, that was like, that's it, you know. Um, it can be done. It can be done. Um, it may seem hard. I know you may be tired. Anyone that may be going through this right now, I know you may be tired. You might feel as if you want to give up, but let me tell you this. Stay prayed up. Communicate with God. I promise you, it'll make you feel so much better. 
speak life over yourself, speak positive things over yourself, and just know that storms don't last always. They don't. And eventually pass over. And anything that you may be going through right now, it will eventually pass over. And everything is for a reason. I needed that. I needed my daughter. I needed that storm. And I know it may be so to come, but I'm grateful for that. And if I seen what I took out of that storm and how it made me the person I am right now, I know that I am equipped to go through whatever else that may come my way because I know, okay, on the other side, it's, it's a bright side to it, you know? So yeah, that was it, you know? Single mom, all my single moms out there, all my mothers out there in general, we rock, we doing the thing, keep going, keep pushing, keep loving on your babies, um, but don't forget about you, love on yourself, take care of yourself. Not only do your child need a happy mom, your child need a healthy mom as well. So, um, yeah, love on you, take care of you, and keep pushing. Because it can be done. And that's my TED Talk for today. Okay. That's all. That's it. That is all. I am proud of myself. And you should be proud of yourself too. Whoever may be watching this. And you may be going through the same thing. Be proud of yourself. Because you may not be where you want to be. But thank God you're not where you used to be. So, take it all in. You fall, get up, dust yourself off, keep going. You know, so, yeah. I thank you guys for listening because I can just go on and on and on. But I thank you guys for listening. Um, I really hope and pray that that helps someone um, out there that may be experiencing anything. It, may not even have to be about being a single mom. You might just be going through something financially, like just by yourself or just going through anything in general. Just know you can do it. You got it in you. God will never put you through if you know you could make it through it. And just keep believing in yourself. And that is all for today's video. Um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so that you can know when your girl make more videos um yeah that's all i never i have to come up with something catchy at the end of my videos and at the beginning because i don't know what to say at the end but okay you guys for talk to you later this is like i don't know what you guys leave a comment like what should i do you know i be feeling kind of like Ooh, when it comes to the end of the video but that is all support your girl support 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 um go ahead and handle that for me share it um recommend other people to come in leave a comment anything you want to talk about you want me to talk about you need answers to just go ahead and drop it in the comments for me and i will see you guys in the next video. Bye.